Welcome Scorpios. I'm back y'all with another video. Let's talk about uh, March. <laughs> Let's get the energy from March. This is for the remainder of March. All right. This is going to be for a sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, south node, wherever your placement is for, well, for Scorpio. You can utilize this video. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, honey, because you're not going to want to miss out on future videos, okay? All right, so I just got this new deck in. This is the Messages of Love Oracle Cards by All Things Intuitive. I'm actually digging this deck, y'all. Y'all are going to be the first ones to get a read with this. So let's get into it. Let's hop into it. Let's see what messages we have for the Scorpio. are there for Scorpio for the remainder of March, please. Ooh. I feel like you guys could be doing a lot of playing around, like, you know, just not really taking things too serious. Um, or you're dealing with someone who has this kind of like Knight of Wands energy, like, you know, like just kind of like, I'm getting like player, play, player type energy. Um, cause we got play hard, find time to laugh, goof off and enjoy each other. And then we have leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. We also have chemistry. The attraction you feel is mutual, and we have past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. So some of y'all are dealing with somebody from the past. Someone from your past has um has resurfaced here. Somebody that you had chemistry with, and I feel like you are taking that leap of faith. But I don't feel like it's anything too serious here. So if you got to play hard, I'm getting like it's not that all that serious. You know, it's just like you're going to see where it got. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see type energy, you know. All right. So let's see. Please give me some energy for Scorpios, please. For the remainder of March. Going into April, please. We got the eight of wands that jump right out. All right. So it looks like you're doing a lot of chit, chit, chat, chatting. <laughs> All right. I feel like you don't want to, you don't want to uh, reach out first to this person. Um, you're waiting to see like what this person, what type of tip this person on. And, you know, I'm just getting like, you just, you know, you kind of see it. You just want to see. For some of you, you're not taking it too serious because I feel like a lot of y'all have other options. For some of you, someone here could be already in a long-term commitment, living with someone or married. But this person, somebody here, guys, some, somebody here is extremely stable, okay? King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here could even be asking some, ooh, Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here could even, even be asking someone to borrow some money or something to that nature. Um, you guys could be, uh, this person could be like a sugar daddy or <laughs> a sugar mama, someone a little older, Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, but I'm getting somebody here is very beautiful or very good looking, um, like an extremely happy, has really great vibes here. But I'm also getting like. 
Somebody needs to <laughs> make sure that you're asking the right questions about this. If I just feel like ask the, the right questions. That's what I'm hearing. Like, because there could be a lot of secrets, a lot of things that are kept in the dark that you may not know about, or this is vice versa, how they're viewing you. Okay. So this person could be very well known. I'm getting Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, female could be involved. But I'm getting like somebody is extremely uh, known, well known. This person could be well known by what they do for work. Like, uh, somebody here has made a name for themselves. It has made some type of name for themselves. I feel like you have been watching this person. Yeah, the star could be an Aquarius, but you you've been watching the growth. The you've been you've been paying attention to this person. You may want some of that energy too. Like you're paying attention to this person. They may not even know that you're watching them like that. Yeah, see, somebody has evolved, has grown, um, is taking some type of sort of action in their life, and it's like they're just shining. Like, but you're watching this, you you see the growth. Ooh, that just jumped out. The emperor, you could be dealing with the Aries, but somebody here has power. Like somebody here is, uh, like a boss. Somebody here is like a boss. We got the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. <laughs> you may even want to just get with this person. Like, I feel like there's somebody from your past, somebody that you know, that you had chemistry with before. And I feel like you want to, you you may want to take it there with this person. Like you trying to catch a vibe with this person. But the thing about this person is, they giving me Queen of Swords vibes. Like this person could be um, really strict. Yeah, like the way that they communicate, they're really straightforward and strict. Um, They have a low tolerance for Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands energy. Like they 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 have a really high standards and and morals and values. And it's like you gotta watch how you approach them type of vibe. Cause this person is this energy. Like they're like, uh uh, eh, eh, no, mm, 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 I don't know what you want. Well, let me see from this angle, from that angle, what's what's up here, what's down here, like that type of vibe. Because they're looking at whether or not if you made any changes from your past. They're still stuck on something from the past. Okay, so they're still viewing you from that angle. Um, but they're surprised. They feel like you done glue up. <laughs> King of Wands, this is very handsome, a very beautiful energy. Um, like they, they, they see you. They see you. You got Chariot here. Could be dealing with the Cancer. Yeah, but I see, like, this is your chance to move in. And this is in your hopes and fears. Like, this is your chance to, to move, yeah, to move closer and progress and get a little closer to this person. Um, but it's like... It's like you kind of being patient. I feel like you kind of being patient. You want to ask. You want to reach out. You want to invite this person in. We got the lovers, the ace of wands. Like you want this person, you know, to say yes to an offer. But I feel like uh, you just not you. It's like you don't. Uh, it's like I don't know. I don't, you don't know if it's going to work. So you're thinking about taking this risk, this leap of faith. You're thinking about what to say to this person, okay, to get close to them, all right? 
And maybe hopefully they'll get over some type of heartbreak or sorrow or past. Not saying that you caused this, but you know, maybe you realize that this person is kind of scorned. But then we got the outcome as the world here. And the Knight of Cups. <laughs> oh gosh. I feel like somebody's going to reject an offer here. And somebody's going to move on. Like, if you if you are the one putting the offer out, this person could say no. Or if it's vice versa, if they're coming at you this way, I feel like you're going to say no. And But it's something about ask first. I feel like you could be like, I'm not going to ask first. Or they're feeling like, I don't want to ask first. I'm not sure whose energy is who's wants who's asking maybe this is you or maybe a fire sign is this is asking you but with this five of pentacles here this talks about rejection as well all right so you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below all right and i will chit chat with you guys later all right ciao for now